I'm angry, so I'm ranting. I don't know if you heard, but a few days ago, there was some 89-year-old uh, pastor that tried to predict the end of the world again. Now, I don't understand why people do this, because, see, if you try and predict the end of the world, and you're right, what kind of praise do you get? Oh, you predicted the end of the world, we're all going to worship you. Bullshit, that's not going to happen. Know why? Because we're all going to be dead. Now, see, the problem with this story is that the guy read something in the Bible that God would kill us all, and he would save the chosen ones that would go all to heaven, and all that bullshit like that. Now... I didn't study much of the Bible, but I used to be Lutheran Christian. In fact, I'm pretty sure I still am a Lutheran Christian, except I haven't gone to church in, like, seven years. But, see, the problem is, from what I remember about the Bible, God was a pretty cool guy. He's not one to kill you. He's one to forgive you of all of your sins, and regardless of what you believe in, he'll set you free and all that bullshit. But the problem is... If he wanted to save us regardless of what we believed in, why would he just send the people who didn't believe in him to hell? That doesn't make any sense. Now, don't quote me on that because I don't remember much of the Bible, as I remember I haven't gone to church in, like, seven years. Another problem with this story is why I find it so funny, is that there was another guy who was a friend of the pastor, he was, like, 60 years old. He wanted to spend, like, $140,000 of his life savings, I'm pretty sure it was all of it, on advertising this campaign of the end of the world. Now, I find that funny because he predicted the end of the world and spent all of his money on it. All $140,000, which is pathetic, in my opinion. Now, if he wanted to predict the end of the world, why did he waste all $140,000 on it? What if he was wrong? Now he's screwed. Now he's screwed and he looks like the biggest retard on the planet Earth. Like, th there is no point to predicting the end of the world. It'll come when it comes. Like, okay, now before religious bullshit comments, or argument bullshit thing starts in the comment thing, just I want you to know this. I don't give a shit what religion you are, okay? You could be... Muslim, you could be Jewish, you could be Catholic, you could be Scientology, and I wouldn't care about a thing. Except for the last part, I'd probably care a little bit. Mainly because if you're a Scientologist, it's kind of like a sin to be on the internet. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. So yeah, again, about this predicting end of the world bullshit, don't do it, because it's useless. Like, even if you're right, you get no praise at all. Because, you know, we'll all be dead. And if you're wrong, you look like the biggest retard on the face of the earth which this 60-year-old and his 89-year-old pastor friend does. I'm not even sure if they're friends. I didn't read that much in the story. I just find the story bullshit, so I wanted to rant about it. What's another thing I want to rant about? Let's think about it for a second. Okay, one thing I want to give props to is Sony. They brought back the PSN a lot faster than I thought they'd do it. I thought it'd take another, like, two years, because they did it, like, way too slow. However, like... I don't know, people on this channel don't even know I have a PS3, even though I told them at Christmas that I got a PS3. Guess what? For Christmas. And, uh, yeah. But see, the problem is that people don't understand that Sony's whole PSN network thing is free. So, like, why are you getting angry at them for taking so long? If it were Microsoft, I can understand, because it costs, like, five bucks a month to use Xbox Live. But PlayStation Network is free. And, um... Believe me, I'd be a lot more angry at Microsoft if their, uh, if their shit got hacked. And, uh, yeah, I would be wasting $5 a month not even being able to go on Xbox Live, and that'd be really unfortunate. So, yeah. Another thing I want to bring up is the topic of rage quitting. I don't know why people do it on Xbox Live, on PSN, on anything, really. Well, I haven't actually experienced any, um, rage quitters on... PlayStation Network, because I've never actually played any multiplayer games on PlayStation Network that weren't with friends. And, uh, yeah. But see, the thing about Halo and Halo 3 and Halo Reach is because when you play, like, Big Team Battle or Social Slayer or something, there will always be at least one person that rage quits every single time. Like, last night I was playing a game, I was playing a t game of Social Big Team on Halo 3, and, um, we started off going five points down, it was like 13 to 8. And some guy rage quit immediately, so it made us like seven to th seven to six right there. Then one guy accidentally got betrayed. In fact, I'm pretty sure he actually like leapt in front of a split screener's laser, so he got betrayed and booted the two split screeners. So now we're down seventeen to four, or seven to four. 
And the lead continues to get farther and farther because we get less and less people and less and less help. And this is like on standoff heavy. So there's like missile pods, rockets, lasers, things like that. There's like all over the place. And if we have no control over any of those weapons, we lose. And uh, so someone else rage quits. So now it's seven to three. And now pretty much the entire opposing team is making fun of us, fucking around and betraying each other and stuff. And actually two people got booted on the other team, so then it was five to three. And uh, then someone else quits on the other team, so now it's um, four to three, and then someone else rage quits on our team. So eventually, so many people quit from that game that it becomes three to two. We're down. And it's just like, why? What's honestly the point? And also the person who um, booted the uh, people who lasered him accidentally, he went minus 28, which is the lowest score I've ever seen, ever, in any kind of... Well, not ever. I've seen Willis go like minus 30-something in zombies, but that's zombies. You're allowed to go that low. But I mean, like, if you go minus 28 in social big team, just stop. Just... What's the point? I went minus nine, which is pretty good considering I was facing a clan and we were like minus people the entire game. So I went 20 and 29. I think I did pretty good. But uh, yeah, don't rage quit. It's bad for you. Or better yet, don't play FPSs by yourself. That's a better uh, thing to tell you. Because if you play FPSs by yourself, chances are uh, you're not going to enjoy yourself and you're going to end up hating the game a lot more than you already do. Um, yeah, I will never play Halo 3 ever again, or Halo Reach ever again, by myself, because it just makes me hate the game. A lot. One final thing I want to bring up before I let you go is console wars. Why do we have them anymore? Like, can we just safely determine that the Wii, the 3, or the, rather the 360 and the PS3 have too much alike to differentiate between the two? Like, for the most part, they all have the same games anyway. Like, there are only a few exclusives, like, hey, like, Xbox has, like, Halo and Fable, and PS3 has, like, um, fuck. <laughs> PS3 has, like, um, what's that one game? Killzone, I guess. But, uh, can we just determine that, for the most part, they're just too much alike to tell? Like, come on, they have, like, pretty much the same graphics capability. I mean, really, the only difference is, is that the Xbox 360 has a network you pay for, and is therefore much more well-kept, in my opinion, but at the same time, the PS3 has a network that is free and stuff, so that's why we shouldn't bitch about it being hacked, because it's free. It's not like we're paying for anything. So... That's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, end all console wars. Um, extreme Christianity is bullshit. Um, again, I'm not against any religion, just extreme religion, like extreme Christianity or whatever. But uh, yeah, uh, this is all I wanted to rant about today. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will uh, see you some other time, I guess.